As students progress and begin to extend the bow stroke, the key to developing the basic bow stroke is to keep the bow parallel to the bridge as the student moves the bow from frog to tip. A bow stroke that does not move parallel to the bridge will not produce a full and resonant tone. To develop a quality tone, students must set the bow properly before beginning the bow stroke, play with even bow speed and weight, and release weight at the end of the bow stroke. The basic on the string bow stroke is called détaché and involves the following motions. The shoulder joint is flexible. The elbow opens to an increased angle as the bow moves from frog to tip. When the bow is in the middle, the elbow will be at a 90 degree angle. As the bow moves from tip to frog, the angle of the elbow decreases. The arm forms a triangle shape with the torso when the bow is placed at the frog. The wrist will extend as the bow reaches the tip and flex as the bow reaches the frog. The wrist is pronated towards the floor with the palm angled slightly away from the body with the amount of pronation changing as the bow moves from frog to tip and the wrist extends. The fingers and thumb flex as the bow moves from frog to tip. The second joints on the fingers, the knuckles, are the least bent when the bow is at the tip and the most bent when the bow is at the frog. Notice that the upper arm is relaxed but moves only slightly. If the student moves the upper arm without involving the elbow, wrist, or finger hinges, the bow will not remain parallel to the bridge. The fingers must be curved and flexible. The fingers must stay in one contact point with the bow and flex, not move to a new position on the bow. Holding the bow must be accomplished with the least amount of squeeze on the bow. As Suzuki said, hold the bow lightly but tightly. The wrist and elbow are in service to the hand.